we start with our Vectra Bank game of the week. And we go to the hardwood to open up the contest out to the western side of the metro area and the Jefferson County. Lakewood taking on Chatfield. Now, those Chargers, one loss. Just one loss on the season. Came all the way back into December the 2nd. A two-point setback to a very good Eagle Crest team. They are running away with the Jefferson County League. Lakewood. Solid outfit here this year as well, knowing they're the only team that has any sort of opportunity to catch the Chargers. But they knew they would need a win on Wednesday night. We send it out to Littleton and our own Marty Cesario. We're out here up against the Hogbacks, getting a little bit of elevation for a couple of high-scoring teams within the Jefferson County League. Steve Shipler's Chatfield squad, the 12th highest scoring team in the nation at 83.1 per points per game. They are led by Alex Buckley, their high energy, athletic, very fast point guard. And then also Titus Reed, the most improved player on the program. He's evolved into a ferocious rebounder at about eight boards per game. Daryl Johnson's Lakewood Tigers sitting at 12 and four right now, looking to get in position for the upcoming playoff bracket seedings. They are led by Jacob Story, a six foot seven inch pile of mayhem with a beautiful mind. And then also Dallas Bailey, who fills the scoring column in not only points, but also assists, rebounds, and steals. I'm Marty Cesario here at Chatfield Senior High School, Westside, Jeffco Pride. It's your Xfinity Sports Report Game of the Week, the Chatfield Chargers and the Lakewood Tigers. <laughs> Warm up by the Jazzer Size Squad to the game. Chatfield up by two. And Alex Beckley gets the tempo up early in this one, taking it straight to the bucket for the easy lay in. 90 seconds into the contest. Shortly after, Keelan Rumsey pokes it away, keeps it in bounds. Chatfield recovers for the fast break to Beckley again to jump ahead, six to nothing. Lakewood learns quickly against the full court press. They know they need to get on the scoreboard right here, and they do. Ball advance quickly. Keenan Rourke to Brant Christie to Jacob Story, who gets the bucket for the Tigers. Four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Lakewood inbounds the ball to Story. Lunge, step back, connects on the easy jumper. Lakewood back within two. Tigers showing the press, causing a deflection to Rourke, who takes it within the key and drops it in to tie the game up 6-6. With top scorer Joe Mix out, Chatfield looking for an outside producer. Raise your hand, Mike Vrabel. Cashews in from behind the arc, getting the lead back for Chatfield. But Lakewood sending a message that their big has huge range too. Jacob Story answers, tying this one up again at nine apiece. Mayhem on the floor late in the first. Lakewood gets the ball out to Dallas Bailey. Release, splash. Now a three point lead at 12 to nine for Lakewood. And the very next play, Bailey with the give and go lay in, whistle, and one to put Lakewood up six points after connecting on the free throw. Chatfield would then go to Lucas St. Germain, who answers the call, connecting from deep, putting the Chargers within striking distance. Chargers surging ahead now, just before the first quarter ends, as Keelan Rumsey puts in the easy jumper, making it a one point game. 19-18 Lakewood, one minute into the second quarter. Chatfield gets the ball to Rumsey again. In traffic, up fake, gets the bucket and the foul, taking over command of this game. 20-19 Chatfield. Rumsey misses the free throw, but gets his own rebound. Kick out to St. Germain, who squares up for the three and extends the lead, 23-19. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. Chatfield shows great ball movement, getting it around to Liam Mann, who drains the deep ball for another Charger three. 11 to nothing streak. Chatty up now, 27 to 19. Chargers continue the run as they get the ball to Lucas St. Germain again, and he knocks it down from three point range, putting Chatfield up 30 to 20 with three and a half to go in the first half. Then Landon Rogers comes up with the steal for the Chargers. Fast break, dish to Vrabel, who spins and puts in the easy layup, extending the lead. It's 32 to 20. Lakewood needing to get something going here with two minutes to go in the half. Jacob Story gets the ball, just drives it to the hole, and scores to reduce it to a 10-point deficit. 32-22, it was Chatfield owning a 33 to 25 advantage after one half of play. Third quarter began just like the first. Chatfield on the run as Alex Beckley gets the fast break opportunity, connects on the difficult lay-in, making it a 10-point lead. 
Chatfield would then find St. Germain for another three-pointer, putting them up 38 to 25. The Chargers would maintain control of the rest of the game with a big thanks to Michael Vrabel, who gets the bucket and one there. He recorded a game-high 22 points for the night. Chatfield missing a key part tonight, scoring their 16th straight victory. We just started fast breaking. We got to get the rebound first and we sprint lanes. And normally we should. We got good enough shooters, good enough finishers. We should be able to get some points on the fast break. Um, well, we always rely on our depth a lot. Um, our attitude is kind of next man up. Um, it sucks having, not having Joe, but at the end of the day, we still got to play and everyone else has got to just step up. Gritty basketball game between a couple of Jeffco rivals. Lakewood gave Chatfield a scare until the second quarter when Chatty found their offense. 11-0 run, 19-3 to start the first five minutes of the second quarter. Lucas St. Germain with 15 points, Mike Vrabel with 22. Chatfield wins 67-55. The Chargers now 17-1. For the Xfinity Sports Report, Marty Cesario. All right, thanks, Marty. Again, our Vectra Bank Game of the Week. And when that 5A Jefferson County League boys side, that thing is over. Chatfield running away with the conference. The only question is now, will the Chargers get one of the top four seeds?